Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more EU4 as Norway, trying to decide if we want to go fight that 4-6 with our 4-3. We could also try to find a new guy, try to hire a better one. I mean, I like this guy's maneuver speed, but we have forced march now. I'm going to try it. I'm going to hire a new one. Ah, 2-6. Is a 2-6 superior to a 4-3? That's debatable. I mean, shock is still very valuable, but not so much for the, the cannons. And we have a huge cannon fleet, cannon army. We'll try one more. Soren Sverens and a 3-6. Okay, so we're going to fire that one. Do we want to fire the 4-3? By hand, I mean, the Sorens, this is way better. So yeah, we're going to change it to that guy. We're going to fire the 4-3. Or maybe we keep him. I mean, we have quite a few wars going on, and we're doing fine on military tech. We're not ahead of time like we were before. Well, we are by one year, but we can't afford it, so... We did just finish our idea group, so we're going to have more offensive, like, military points available. I think I want this. But I do want that, too. Alright, so Soren Sverenson. Severison. 3-6. Versus a 4-6. Feels pretty good. We're going to hang out here for a moment. We're going to split the army, put half of it in both spots. So there's no s nothing, no um, attrition. And then we're going to get our morale back so that we can force to march and just pounce on something in there. Hopefully no one loses troops here. Sweden's not really being the smartest. We're going to turn on the forced march for this this jump so we can make sure that, that we don't lose that battle. Turn forced march back off so we can recover morale. Go to friendly territory. Relative strength of the alliance has got to be really moving in our favor. It still says they've got like 50, 60 some regiments somewhere, but I don't see them. And our little... Do we actually kill that fleet? We must have gotten something. Whatever. I'm going to bring it back this way now and go blockade England. Attacker controls Barbados. Wait a minute, you're fighting Castile at the same time? Castile and Peru, okay. And Portugal? Good, good, good lord. Portuguese-English colonial war. I actually like looking at the ledger now for wars. I think it's just much easier to compare. So the Portuguese-English colonial war is Portugal and Castile. So it's just one war. Hmm. Okay, so the key, I think, for this one, we just want to get white peace, right? I don't really want anything from them, do I? Well, it is all this. I guess we could try to take another piece of Brandenburg. So there's nothing good to feed back, is there? Bohemia exists, so we can't do that. Magdeburg. On halt. They're just a bunch of tiny little things. I mean, we don't want the capital. We have a claim here, don't we? Yeah. I guess we do kind of want that. I want 
that thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um... So it looks like we need to occupy neater lousids. Once we get our morale to full, one more month, we'll forced march in there and probably fight that 33 stack. Or maybe we pick off the 23 first. We're so much more mobile than they are that... Good supply limits here. Let's go here and here. We'll sneak in down this way and take out that 26, maybe the 21. Sieging through my former Thuringian vassal. Let's get them. Eight point three six war score. All those regiments dead. Okay, can we get to you safely? It looks like we can this way. No river crossing. Eighty six versus thirty. Great thing about forced marches, aside from the fact that you can snipe armies, is that you spend less time getting places. <laughs> Such an obvious comment, but you suffer less attrition over time because, like. Yes, we have 6% attrition, but we're only going to be combined for, like, a couple weeks instead of months. So, boom. We lost some a men of our own, and we did not completely annihilate the army. This is mostly Bavaria. Bavaria lives down here, so we're not going to have to go too far. I think I'm willing to suffer the attrition. Let's chase it down. No, we're going to pick that guy off if we can. And we're bleeding military points by force marching every province, but I don't care. We actually got there before they did, so they have the crossing penalty. And there goes their entire army. And we lost one cavalry. One cavalry! Dummy. Okay. Okay. Relative strength of the alliance is going to be a little bit more in our favor now. Bohemia is at medium. The only way we're going to actually get that province is if we actually siege it. I don't really want that, do I? I really want to wait. I could just make you annul your treaties with Poland. That sounds fine. This wasn't my war. We'll take that. And I do want the admin points. Whoa. That's a lot of attrition. That'll go away. Okay, back to Newmark. Wrong culture still. How much longer till we can annex you? Three more years. Still improving relations, so everything's going fine there. We're also 61% towards annexing this guy, who has three more provinces within our trade node. Holstein being 6.6 um, .6 trade power, pretty darn good. It's actually surprisingly high. It's got a canal, a dock, a marketplace, and a trade depot. That explains why it's so high. Okay, so, um, hey England, you're obviously losing. Blockade a few more things. Heck, even Portugal's got them blockaded. Still at medium enthusiasm. They think they're strong. So this is my vassal's war. 
What do we want from them? Expand in all directions. They would they would give us so much stuff. I don't want the aggressive expansion though. So we won't take any of their territory for ourselves. We'll just feed our vassal. We'll take 282 ducats. We're really close to being able to transfer trade power, but I don't really care about trade power with them. Instead, just annul your treaties with whoever. Whatever. Annul your alliance. That sounds good. Nice job! My little vassal. They're so aggressive. <laughs> They're just like us. That makes me happy. Yeah, we got 13 more ships here that need to be part of that patrol. So I think that overall that ended up pretty well. I'm glad they take your money. How's the coalition looking? They're still a pretty strong one. But it'll go away over time. Poland is now in the coalition, but they weren't when they started it. Interesting. Okay. Maybe we should improve relations with them. I hate you so much, France. I just swear to... I want to kill you. Just go to hell. I keep saying I'm not going to do it, and then I do it. I know. I'm a bit of a hypocrite. So New Norway is expanding rapidly. <laughs> I just love it. New Norway has expanded... Only within this area here. What, do they actually have a claim on it? Yep, they haven't cored it yet. I think we should attack Caribus. <laughs> in there and just expand for them. Let me show you how it's done. We'll give you all of Caribus. You are part of... Uh, do we have any right to attack you? We don't. You guys aren't independent or something, are you? Colony of Portugal. War goals to take the colony of Cartagena in North America. Well, we could use that as an excuse to attack them. They're allied with France, Aragon, and Castile. France is the only one that actually scares me a little bit. France, how strong are you? 107,000. And we currently have kind of low manpower. I think we hold off. Three more years. Annex Sweden. Call it good. That seems fair to me. Liberty desire. You will not break free from Norway. Not like Norway broke free from Denmark. We're on the same team. Great minds think alike. Conscription center. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't realize we unlocked that, but we need to build that in Akershus. Soren Magnus. He died because he was sur surpassed by Soren Sverison. He wasn't allowed to lead troops, so he, he just cried himself to sleep. Austria has entered the coalition. Yay! It's great news! 
Everyone hates us. Local manpower modifier, another 25%. It's too bad that Akershus has uh, only 75 base. Like, we should definitely take the ones that have the, uh... Remember the provinces where we did it before? Province overview. Manpower 6. So, Schaland, for instance. Imagine if we built the manpower modifiers here. It's coastal, though, so I kind of want to do the naval thing, but... If we had this and this... 50%? I mean, that's a lot of manpower. Just thought, just thought I'd mention that it's a lot of manpower. Austria is now embargoing us. Everyone's embargoing us. Everyone hates us. All the big guys. Poland, France, Austria, Muscovy. We could probably take Muscovy. Some, some schlep wanted military access. It only cost 79. That's without having ever built that Fine Arts Academy. We should build that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Sweden. See, like, <laughs> New Norway barely pays us anything. I don't care, though, as long as they expand. Grow. Recall. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Improved relations. France. Bastards. Um, we might need to bribe these guys. I guess we can maintain a, a diplomat here, for now. And let's improve relations with somebody else, just see if we can try to get them to leave the damn coalition. Okay, coalitions... You know, England, I, I was not the one that declared war on you, just so you know. That was totally not me, it was totally my little vassal. And he was the my bestest bud ever. Alright, maintain that one there. We've converted Thuringen. Good. Turn Caracas into a city. Sure. Five manpower. What the hell is that all about? Oh, that's true. I bet these ones all have stupid manpower numbers. 78. 78. 103. For a base. You know how everyone else was like some value multiplier of 25. These ones are all just barely above. It's like they're all three more than they're supposed to be. Weird. Okay. Annexation can commence in one more year. I swear to God, I'm not going to invest any more points in that. And we're actually down to two relationships. So, like... Why don't we declare war and connect? Connacht. Whatever they're called. Like, that's a vassal we should just do. Oh my God. Oh my God, I did it. I've been bleeding manpower for months and I didn't even realize it because we don't have access to this idiot. Oh, God damn it. And we're stuck in this one damn province because they walked through it on their way back north. I didn't even... Oh, my God! And everyone hates us so much that I doubt we're going to be able to get military access. How are we going to get this army out? Hmm. 
negative 200 around the board. So the only way then is to get at war with one of these guys like Hess. We have a truce with Hess. We can declare war on Saxony. They will call upon the coalition members. We'd end up at war with Poland. We have a truce with Bavaria. We have a truce with Brandenburg. My army is just stuck. And it has a 49 supply limit. Oh god, let's just consolidate regiments. Piece of crap. And I'm going to have to just disband half, like, ten of these. That is so ridiculous. Now at least it's not going to suffer attrition. Because of the commander protecting it, but... Man, that is brutal! Here I am trying to min-max my manpower and just get caught fleeing. I wish that they would automatically, like, if I tell them to go there, they should go there. They shouldn't just go, like, oh yeah, we'll totally go there until we get to a province, and then, oh yeah, we're no longer exiled. Never mind, we're gonna stop here and hang out forever. I told them to go up to, like, Slevzig or something, some place that I could access my navy and that had high supply limit, you know, to, to compensate or accept them, because there's so freaking many of them. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're not gonna attack connect anytime soon. I guess we're going to have to build some more stuff. I want to get more of the docks and things. So we already have docks here. We need dry docks. Sure, that sounds good. More goods produced, that's more uh, manpower. We'll take it. I think like all of these things are good to have. So, all right, I'm gonna take a break here. In the next video, I'm going to begin the annexation of Sweden. So thanks for watching, see you again soon.